one of the most prolific pastors in the Port Huron area. He is called the Bishop oh of the God. Lord's Black Church. <laughs> this is Pastor Carl Miller. How are you, sir? I'm doing God fantastic. Bless you. bless you, my brother. But I'm glad you took time for us. Now, listen, uh, would you tell, how do you think the same-sex ruling affected your local church? Well, I think because uh, I teach the Word of God, okay. um, and we understand what the Word of God says, that uh, marriage is between a man and a woman, okay. um, it has no real direct effect on me because mm. I believe that as we follow the Word of God mm -hmm. and we walk in the commandment of God, uh, that we should have no problem then uh, deciphering what the Word of God is saying. And the Word of God says that uh, God created Adam and Eve, and, and so we walk in that and believe that. So uh, I have no problem with the world, what the world might do, uh, but I believe the Word of God is right. I understand that. And, uh, you know, I've been talking to a few people, uh, transgender community, yes. the gay community, and, of course, the heterosexual community. And I completely understand, and I, I stand with that because we are bound by that yes. to stand with it. But how should we treat yes. those who don't see our standards? Yes. Well, as I teach the people at the Restoration Church, you you have to love people into the kingdom. That's right. You know, and I don't. I, if there is a particular sin that someone walks in, uh, there's no need in me uh, focusing right in on their sin per se. Uh, because I believe that's the way you can injure or, 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 or kill a person in that respect. And so you love people into the kingdom. That's how Jesus did it. Yeah. If you're going to bring people into the kingdom, then you have to share the word with people. And once you share the word with an individual, um, they have to accept what the word says, not what I think. Wow. I can't give people my philosophy. I give people what the word says. And I give it to them in love. And once you share the word of God in love with the person, the word of God will do the rest. See, the word will do the work. It's, it's not up to me then to, to uh, condemn or to kill an individual uh, because they don't see it yet. Mm -hmm. But I like to give people an opportunity uh, to allow the word to marinate and to grow in it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the uh, problems in our local churches is that uh, we've been... Uh, uh, fermented ourselves, and, and then we uh, we expect that everybody else should be at the same place that we are. Wow. That's not the truth. You have to give a person an opportunity for the word to marinate and for them to grow into it. And I believe uh, once that happens, uh, you won't be able, you won't have to have an argument with them. You won't have to try to tell them how wrong they are. The scripture will correct the thing and yeah. love will cover that multitude of sins. Yeah, so you know, tell us about what would you say the mission of the church is then? Well, I think the mission of the church is to show, I, 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 like, I like what Paul said after he talked about all of the gifts, the spiritual gifts in the church in, chapter, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, he talked about those gifts in the church and he emphasized and talked about the need and the necessity of having those gifts in the church. But in that last verse in that chapter, he said, but I'm going to show you a more excellent way. And in chapter 13, he immediately starts talking about love and loving people into the kingdom. Now, 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 and I believe that in order to share love with a person, you have to share the word of God with them. All right. You know, you, you, you can't, uh, I can't uh, doctor it up. You know, I share the word of God with you in love. I don't have to condemn you. I don't have to kick you out of the church. I, I, I don't have to put you, try to put you in your place. But the word of God expressed in love will change the heart of a man or a woman. And it will do it uh, in such an excellent way that you won't kill or condemn that individual. My Lord. And, and, and I believe that's the mission of the church, is to love people into the kingdom. I hear that. Did, did you get all that, cameraman? Yes, I want to make sure did. you got all of that, because uh, that was, I'm going to preach every bit of it when I get going to edit it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so listen, we, we got to get out of here, and I appreciate you all for joining us, but give 60 seconds. I want you to give them a message for people who have never heard of your ministry, never heard of yourself, that need a word right now. Give them a 60-second life-changing word. 
I would say to you um, that the answer to every question in your life is found in the love of God. That God loves you and he gave his son Jesus Christ who gave his life at Calvary. He died for you. He died for you because he loved you and the word of God is what will feed you spiritually and you'll find it out at the Restoration Christian Community Church. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. May the God bless you. Meet every day in your life. I never would have been ready for the making of If it had not been for